If you had asked me four years ago today if I would be graduating ESA, I would have given you a very enthusiastic no. My no would have been buried in excuses that the school wasn't for me or that the program wasn't what I expected it to be. But the truth behind that no was that I was challenged and at the time I wasn't comfortable enough in myself or my art to be. Entering ESA, I was under the assumption I would be well equipped to deal with the art program. After all, I had gotten in, right? Well, I was wrong. I had no clue what I was doing, and I had felt like I had been thrown into the deep end with bricks tied to my feet. Up until the 10th grade, I was getting on by what I had labeled experimenting with different mediums. I felt as though I wasn't good enough at one thing, so rather than continue to work hard and gain skill, I would move on to the next. I found myself constantly creating for others and not for myself. My art became a simple assignment that once was submitted would never be looked at or thought about again. Anxiety was and still is something I've struggled with. The fear of failing continues to eat me from the inside out. I never thought that at the age of 16, my main cause of stress would be art, but it was. I felt like a fraud. Walking into my art class, listening to my classmates talk about their art with such confidence and charm left me feeling discouraged and that the last place I belonged was the program at ESA. So naturally, I took some time off art in avoidance of my preconceived inevitable failings. I had tried mixed mediums, paintings, embroidery, drawing, photography, you name it, and all of them left me feeling empty. They had no significance to me. I felt nothing when making them, and I had and I had no urge to continue to make them. I started the 11th grade with zero direction, and in order to save my sanity for the year, I decided to try the one thing I had yet to experiment in, which was making clothing. Both hand stitching and sewing on a machine were something I had learned at an early age, but I had always viewed it as a practicality and not so much an art form. I started off by making a couple skirts and tops, and just like that I had found my medium. The moment I photographed my work on my model for the first time, I knew I had found my direction. I had never felt pride or confidence in relationship to my artwork prior to my clothing. I recognize that in order for art to be a success, it doesn't necessarily have to have a deep meaning behind it. After all, Mr. Various is deep is for swimming pools and not for art. That being said, my work falls perfectly in line with something I value deeply, which is the topics of feminism and body image. I was lucky enough to never struggle with an eating disorder, but that's not the reality for many young girls. My work does not directly help people suffering from body dysmorphia or anorexia or any other disease that is often caused by body image issues, but it does fuel my work. It gives me motivation and drive to make work. The harsh reality is that the fashion industry glamorizes one body type per decade, telling young girls that that specific body type is the pinnacle of beauty, and if you aren't born like that naturally, well then, there's always surgery. Young girls are constantly comparing themselves to altered, airbrushed, and photoshopped images. And how can you not, when these images are everywhere you look, from social media, to television, to magazines, and even to billboards? These edited images come from an industry that makes money on the idea that you are not enough and that something is wrong with you. When young girls see these images and realize that their growing bodies look differently, they subliminally are told that something is wrong with their bodies. This can be detrimental to young girls' body image, self-esteem, and mental health. I used to look at the magazines that lined up the grocery store checkout, and on one instance I can remember seeing a magazine with a celebrity on the cover, the headline above her reading, Here's what she really looks like, or 64 pound weight gain with four months left to go in pregnancy, what will she do? I remember realizing at this moment how truly obsessed some people are with their own body image and how they had an intense need to tear down other people's bodies when they didn't conform to their definition of perfection. Why does the physical appearance of these women matter more than their careers? The photos of my clothing are not taken from slimming angles. They are not filtered or photoshopped. I am adamant about my clothing fitting the body, not the body fitting my clothing. My clothing is not made to hide people's imperfections, and it is not made to showcase their conceived flaws either. My work is made for the wearer to feel comfortable and confident. The work I am producing now genuinely makes me feel happy, which isn't a feeling I ever expected to feel from art. If you had asked me four years ago if I would be graduating ESA, my answer would have been a very enthusiastic no, but I can now contently say I am graduating in less than a month. My four years in the art program have been nothing short of difficult, but I am ultimately happy in the progress I made. 
When I entered the school, I wasn't comfortable being challenged because I was unable to defend my work or even say why I made it, but that is no longer the case. Before, I lacked inspiration and direction, but once I found fashion, I felt a profound amount of motivation and passion to create. Overcoming these obstacles of uncertainty towards the arts have left me feeling confident for any problem that I have to encounter in the future. There is always room for growth, but I am thankful for this program and how it allowed me to make art that I am truly passionate about. When I first started the ESA visual art program, I believed that I would be there to only strengthen my art skills, but that was far from the extent of it. There is still so much room for growth in my work, but I worked hard to develop my art to where it is now. And I can leave the art program thankful for it and the challenges it provided me as well as my work. Thank you.